Coming up on today's episode of Pixel.info, we're going to show you a few audio production techniques for iPhone application development. Let's take a look. So creating audio assets for your iPhone, it sounds simple enough, but the real challenge is how you'll need to optimize your tracks for file size. So we got a couple techniques on how to do just that. Let me show you real quick. So when you're working on audio for iPhone applications, one of the most common practices to do is to keep your file size as low as you can. So here are some settings that I found to keep your file relatively low without too much loss in quality. All right, so when your audio is ready for export, you'll want to use a sample rate of 22,050 file format of AIFF and a resolution of 16-bit. Using these settings should keep your file size small and your quality at a medium. Alright, so once you get your audio files onto your iPhone, you'll definitely want to test the audio transition. Because a lot of times you'll find yourself going back and editing things like your audio files. So listen carefully and make sure you have audio. So when you're working on a project with multiple parts, a great way to group them is to pack them into folders and export them individually. To create a folder in Logic, select your regions from the arrangement window, then go to the region menu, select folder, and pack folder. Now you can double click to enter the folder, you can create a loop cycle at the top, and if you click and drag down, you'll actually create a marker, and using markers is a great way to keep your project organized. So now we can bounce them out. All right, and that's a few audio techniques you can use when creating audio assets for the iPhone. Definitely check the website for any show notes and details. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you guys next time.